So, so today, today, my dear brothers and sisters, sisters, as I said, we are celebrating St. Nicholas, Nicholas Day. Day. So, so in the middle of our church, you may see the icon of St. Nicholas, as well, well you may see some, some around him, him some pictures, pictures from, from his, his life. life. What, what they, they have here, here this, this is a piece, a piece, very, very small piece of body of St. Nicholas. Nicholas. It's, it's 17, almost 100 years, years old. I received this as a gift from my former Bishop, Archbishop, Archbishop Sevalot. He gave it to me years ago on my name day. So it will be here. If somebody would like to see and venerate, you can see, you can venerate. Uh, the body of the relics of St. Nicholas still exist. They are in Bari, Italy. In the city of Bari, they are there. So the people who was in Bari, I know, I know several, several of our parishioners have been there, so they, they was able, able to see the relics of St. Nicholas. Nicholas. As, As I said, it's 17, 1700 years, years old. 1700 years old, approximately. If, if I will ask, ask people, what, what do we know about Santa, Santa Claus? About Santa, Santa. maybe everyone, everyone, especially here in the USA, knows, knows something about, about Santa. Santa. Especially, especially like children, children, because, because we, in our, our culture, I would say, here in the USA, USA we, we have, it's, it's kind, kind of part of our Christmas celebration. We can, can see Santa everywhere, on the streets, we can, can see some in the theater, theater, we can, can see some movies, we can hear some carols with Santa. Santa. So, so it will be probably hard to find anyone here that they, they didn't, didn't know about Santa. Santa. Probably impossible. But in the, the same time, time talking, very few people here in the USA, USA know that this, this is not just some hero, some uh, person, person who was just very fantasized of what, who is he, what, what he is doing, how he is dressing. But, but a few, few people, people just know that, that he was exist. He is truly. truly a bishop, a bishop in, in our church. church. He, he was, was the, the one who was born in 270. He was, was the one who during the time of the Ecclesian, the emperor of Rome, who was put in prison and he was almost 10 something years in the prison until the Constantine the Great come and, and he released him from the prison. He was, was the one who put on our first a communal meeting in 325. And according to our legend, St. Nicholas, when, when he, this is another icon of St. Nicholas. There is, is plenty of icons of St. Nicholas. I don't know how many. But, but what is interesting on this icon, you can, can see Jesus and the Mother of God. And they are on the top of that icon. This, this is why it makes make very unique, unique icon. You cannot, cannot see Jesus and Mary on other saints. saints. Why do we have on this icon? icon? And, and if you look carefully on this, this icon, icon, Jesus holding the gospel in his, his hands, and Mary holding an omophorion. This, this is what Bishop, Bishop has on his shoulders. This, this is omophorion. This, this is what Mother of God holding in hand, and this is Omophorian wine. Because, because according to our legend, again, again it's legend, I wouldn't say that this is 100% fact. fact. During the meeting of a first communion meeting, Darius, he said blasphemy. He said that Jesus is not Son of God. He was saying that Jesus is creature. And he, he hit him, hit him on your face. face. So, so this, this is why. The rest, the rest of bishops bishop say, your, your behavior, behavior is not acceptable. acceptable. Bishop, bishop shouldn't be it. His, his friends, his, his relatives, his uh, parishioners. And, and this, this is why they, they remove from, from him gospel and homophorian. But, but later it was vision that the God, Jesus Christ, Christ gave, gave it to him back. back. Gospel and mother of God gave, gave it to him homophorian. This, this is why we have on this icon. Jesus and Mary, Jesus holding 
gospel and Mary called in Omophorian. I will put this icon in the middle of the chort, so you can come, you can venerate, but I would definitely beg you, those who have lips covered with lipstick do not kiss it, because the lipstick will destroy destroy the icon, so be careful. But, but yes, you can, can look at it when you venerate, you can look at it on another icon of Saint, of Saint, Saint Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay, seems, seems to be stable. stable. So, so Saint, Saint Nicholas, we, we call him Merberer. Um, what, what is Merberer in Russian? It's so, so the, the mirror, mirror is coming from a uh, special, special oil coming, coming from, from his body. And this, this is so true that, that even now, 1700 years year later, still his body producing special oil. And, and those, those people who are visiting Rome, Rome are able, not from the city of Berry, may be able to bring, bring some oil from the body of Jesus of uh, Saint Nicholas. We also call him that he is uh, to the worries, that he is wonder workers. Why do we call him wonder workers? It's probably everyone, every saint was make some miracles in their life. But what was interesting of Saint Nicholas' life? Even after his death, He's still, still making miracles. I try, I try to, every year when I celebrate, celebrate Saint Nicholas, Nicholas Day, Day to bring some other story of Saint Nicholas, Nicholas miracles after his, his death. death. So, so today, today I would like to share with you another story. It was in, in Kiev, Ukraine, Ukraine, a thousand, thousand years, years ago, one, One family, family with young boy was traveling on the river at Dnieper, it's a big, big river. And, and the their son was dropped into the water. water. And they, they were not able to, to take him from, from the water. He was, he was young, young, the son. So, so definitely they, they start crying, start... <laughs> they lost their, their son. But, but the, the next, next day, day when they, they come to Kiev, in, in Kiev there is a capital known as uh, Great, Great Sophia, Sophia, Hagia Sophia, like in Constantinople. So, so then the, the same night, usually the church, church was locked and they, they have some guards who was protecting the church that nobody, nobody will do anything, anything bad to the church. church. So, so when, when they in the morning, the, the priest come, come to the, the church, church, he hears some Child, child child voice inside, inside the, the church. church. He didn't, didn't know what it is. is. He, he was, was asking, asking maybe some guards let some uh, those, those people, people who was coming, coming to the church, church let, let them stay the entire night. He said, no, no, church, church is locked. So when they, they opened the church, church they, they found in front of the icon of St. Nicholas, they, they found that boy. He, he was in, in wet clothes. And, and this, this is why we have another celebration of St. Nicholas, especially it's known in Ukraine. It is known like uh, the holiday's name, uh, Vet St. Nicholas. Mokrovo uh, Svetovo Nikolaya. It's another holiday. And this is not only one story. Such stories, if you will have time, you can go on the internet, you can uh, just Google the new miracles of St. Nicholas, and you will be amazed how many testimonies around the world people have. This is why St. Nicholas became so popular among Christians. So this is why those people who came here in uh, Juliet in 1907, when they created the story, they decided that our church will be dedicated to St. Nicholas. Why? But as I said, said he, he was, was known, very known, known as the one who always helped needy people. It, it was, was probably very hard for the new immigrants when, when they, they come, come to this country, 
start a new life. And on the top of that, to build a new church. But with the blessing of St. Nicholas, we are having such a beautiful church. So thank you those people who was working so hard through that hundred, almost eleven years, hundred fifteen years of the history of our parish. So today when we celebrate St. Nicholas Day, I wish every one of us that the blessing of St. Nicholas we will find in our life. Amen. Christ in our midst.